I just got done watching Sometimes I Think About Dying, starring the likes of Daisy Ridley and directed by Rachel Lambert. Now, this movie just premiered at Sundance. I attended virtually, I got to watch this, and I was very excited for this movie for one particular reason. That being Daisy Ridley. Now, I knew the concept of this movie revolved around kind of an office cubicle and kind of the mundane parts of life. I was expecting a slower type of movie and that's completely fine, but I was very excited to see what Daisy Ridley would be doing next because I haven't seen her in anything since Rise of Skywalker and very much the last Star Wars trilogy that we just got, which very much divided the fan base. But one thing that I can say is that her performance as Rey Skywalker was absolutely incredible and I loved her in there, but I wanted to see more of her and to finally see her doing more of a dramatic role like this that excited me, and I'm excited to tell you guys that sometimes I think about dying is the exact movie that I wanted, and honestly, I think it is a near-perfect movie, in fact. I say that with a lot of elevations of how much that I did adore this movie, because this movie is about Fran, played by Daisy Ridley, who likes to think about dying. And she makes the new guy at work laugh, which leads to dating and more, and now the only thing standing in their way is Fran herself. Now, this movie very much dissects the mundane aspects of life. If you work in an office cubicle or you've ever worked in an office cubicle you'll understand like the dread of just talking to random people or saying having to say hi to them and if you're someone who's an introvert specifically and also deal with social anxiety panic attacks and maybe even depression and maybe you're not dealing with it now but maybe one point in your time in your life you did this movie dissects that to such a real feeling. And when I talk about a real feeling movie, this is a movie that I feel like I was in Fran's footsteps the entire way through. And I felt the dread and horror that she was because I have felt that before. I work currently in an office cubicle. Most of the time I actually am pretty much an introvert. And a lot of this movie did feel that way, specifically when I first started to go into the office. And it was a different type of feeling, but I felt like Fran in a lot of different ways. And sometimes, yeah, I would think about dying. It's to all the little effects that the Rachel Lambert really directs into here, whether it's the sound, the production design, even just in general some of the cinematography choices. This is a very much a movie you watch and feel inspired by to go out and write your own script. Because no matter how small a story can be told, it can be very relatable in all sorts of ways. And I loved this movie. I love how, again, real it felt and how it dissected and detailed each and every one of those moments. And while the writing and the directing is specifically there, Daisy Ridley's acting is stellar. I loved what she did in Star Wars, but this might be my favorite performance from her yet. It's all to the subtle motions, the way that she has her hands, the way that she can smirk and smile, and just the way she comes across is absolutely real. And I could relate to her in so many different avenues, as well as, of course, Dave Mahara, who plays Robert, who is really much this guy that kind of starts to affect her life and kind of change it, maybe. And I like that the way the relationship actually started to touch upon because it does feel real and it feels like something that Robert doesn't understand everything about Fran and Fran doesn't understand everything about Robert, but it's how they connect and how that connection starts to work. And what I love about this movie is that while it doesn't really have an end game to what it wants to say or do, it doesn't really need to do because you can just go about and think that where their lives could go next possibly by the back half of this because I would say in the last 15 minutes we get some of the most engrossing and most impactful emotional content that really dissects what life is all about specifically just in general life you know we're not celebrities we don't go back and forth on this so where does our life end where does retirement head to us what is actually retirement all about this film touches on so many different social avenues that I keep going back to that and saying the true words of real life. It's very rare when we get a film like this, and I was honestly blown away by that. And I do want to say, you know, I didn't get to mention, but the writers of this, Stephanie Horowitz, Ben Armato, and Katie Mead, absolutely all deserve a shout out as well, because the, again, th without their writing, without Rachel's directing, and of course, without the performances, I don't think this film really would have came out to be what it actually is. No matter how quiet and subtle this movie got, I just continued to fall more in love with it. I would laugh at like these awkward bits of moments because they just felt like something that I could relate to. I've been in this scenario, I've been in all this, and I, I adored this movie. This is, you know, I've only seen two movies so far from Sundance, but this is my favorite one so far, and it's gonna be hard to beat this one because 
I loved it. The thing about dying is phenomenal. I loved it. It's a subtle, perfect, quiet look at social anxiety. And the way that they actually depict that is one of the most things that really comes to life, specifically in the way that it also touches on depression and panic attacks. Because a lot of the time when I see panic attacks shown in a film or a movie, it can be very much for a hyperbole. And as someone who does have panic attacks quite constantly, this movie brought it to life in a real feeling movie that captures the mundane of working in an office and honestly to just living life. Daisy Ridley is incredible and the final shot is, while small, but beautiful. I love this movie. I can't recommend this one movie enough, specifically if you're just someone who does like these smaller indie films. It's not going to change your life by any means, but you will absolutely feel seen if you've ever worked in an office and you've ever felt the way that Fran does. So with all that said, I'm going to give Sometimes I Think About Dying an A. Thank you so much again, guys, for watching this. You guys are really all the best. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Comment down below your guests. Got tons of Sundance movies coming up soon. So with all that said, stay classy.